You guys ready? Everybody ready? Maybe ready, ready, man. Okay. So, uh, what can you tell us about your character's relationship with uh, Caitlin? Good. Uh, um, we're a kind of a happily married suburban family with, you know, lovely house, two cars, 2.4 children, the whole kit and caboodle. It just so happens that my character is uh, a prosecutor for the government and he prosecutes mutants in society who have used their mutant powers. So when, uh, when my son when my son's mutant gene is activated, um, our family are thrown into this kind of stasis because he has never expected this to happen. And so that puts a bunch of pressure on the family and he has to turn his back on everything and go on the run with his family. And um, Amy's amazing. So uh, I think from the very first moment that Amy came on board and I started working with, I was actually with, I was on, I was in the audition suite when she came in to do her final test and, uh, and I got to do some stuff with her which was lovely. We got on really well straight from the beginning. She's a brilliant actress, as you guys all know, she's worked with Josh we Joss Whedon a bunch of times and uh, it's brilliant. So she's made Caitlin beautifully rich and resonant. And, are you not allowed to use your mutant powers at all? Or you're I don't just have not, mutant no, powers. No, I mean, like, you're prosecuting oh. people who are using them just period. Like, you, so, I'm heating so, my coffee so, with my lasers right. and I'm in trouble. No, but this is an interesting, <laughs> this is an interesting, uh, you know, you can't cut your vegetables with your lasers in public. Oh, okay. But if you do it in private, I'm sure you'd be all right. Okay. okay. Um, <clears throat> if, um, the idea is that mutants are fine in society mm -hmm. as long as they are not using their mutant powers. Okay. So if they use their mutant powers in some kind of destructive way, uh, the government would prosecute them and try and take them out of society for society's good, but also for, for the good of themselves. Right. Right. Okay. And my character is the character who does that. There's so many uh, uh, movies and, and TV, television shows uh, uh, that deal with mutants. How does the gift of uh, Um I think, I think what I like about it is that, that it's going to be an underground sort of world. Um, it's, it's the, the guys that we, that we come across, uh, like a, um, are, are living, having to live underground because they have used their powers out in the open and they have got away from being prosecuted and they are living a subterranean existence. So when, uh, when, when we manage to meet up with them, uh, we end up, you know, having lived this sort of very nice life, we end up underground, we end up in, their, in that existence, and we end up on the run. And so I think that it's a much more sort of uh, cat's eye view of the world. It's much more sort of, it, you know, there's no super suits and there's no, um, Charles, Charles's school, there's none of that. It's very much sort of dirty and on the ground. And <clears throat> there's almost a sort of, uh, I haven't seen the script yet for this part of it, but th there's a kind of underground railroad, railroad idea of a sort of chain of, of uh, uh, mutant gangs that sort of help each other. Uh, I think that's going to be part of the idea. And so I think it's, I think it's really interesting from that point of view that it's going to be a, Far more, much more on the ground, you know, it's grounded. Do you think the, the X Men fans are going to find the, the gifted? And also, if, uh, you have to be a fan to, to enjoy the gifted as a separate uh, wall. Um, I think the X Men fans will, will, will love the X aspect of it, the, the mutant aspect of it. And, you know, Brian has a very visual storytelling style which has been very successful within the X world but I don't think you have to be an X-Men fan to enjoy it um, it's about a family who are changed by stuff happening around them and have to change in order to survive and and you know which works as a metaphor for people in society who are going through difficult changes 
and also for teenagers in, in society who are going through difficult changes. And, and I think there's many families, I'd, I'd love to think that, that families could sit down together and watch this, you know, and, and see things that are happening in the world today and be able to relate to them. And maybe the metaphor of it will be something, will, will be a way of helping the adults not have to talk to the children about it because the children will see it on screen. I mean, what, that's a brilliant dream to have, but you know, I'd love that to be the case. Can you do one more question? Would you say it's um, a metaphor for illegal immigration this time? Sometimes X-Men are about, say, LGBTQ <laughs> issues or race. Is that what this show is going in? I think that would be something that you possibly mm -hmm. could draw from it. Um, so how do you feel about your character's journey being like uh, somebody very much privileged um, and then going into this life? Yes, I love it. I love that idea of it. I was, it was really the thing that drew me to it. Mm -hmm. um, the irony being that, that at the beginning of the pilot, they're trying to escape out of America. Yeah. And and uh, to, to in order to be get to, in order to get to safety. Um, Matt wrote this over a year and a half ago. Started working on this long before um, things changed here. It's and, sort of in the air, though, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, and 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 certainly there were aspects of it. And there are aspects of what's going on in our story that I don't think were intentional, uh, you know, other than yeah. on a general basis, you know, of of persecution or mm -hmm. um, I think I think I'm very excited about that aspect of it, and I think I think that you've got to remember we're on a network, yeah. so that's going to be, uh, you know, in, uh, which is another aspect of what you you were asking is. You know, this is a family show and it's family entertainment. So there's, so we can't scratch the surface in a, in the way that, say, True Blood could, or yeah. or or the way that um, something like Legion, or you know, we, there is a certain ratio of PGness that yeah. one has to stay. That, you know, which is fine because that's it's a big audience, and mm -hmm. and if we can like make any tiny percentage of change into the way that people perceive things, then that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you.